BoxingVoice.com here with Cody Crowley. What's going Boom. on, champ? Okay. Um, what's your thoughts though on Earl Spence getting injured again, holding up the division? To be honest, I I don't know if he wants to fight. Oh wow! Uh, really? Come on, this is the same guy that doesn't take tune-ups. Well, we're almost what is it? A fight a year that we're going on? Yeah. And then we spend four or five months discussing money. When if money ain't a problem, why not fight every single month? If money's not a problem. If you are the truth, why not just keep fighting? Hmm. I mean, dates, I guess, politics. But that's not the fighter. True, true. So Jamal James is you back. Got people, you got people who's 44 years old, like a Manny Pacquiao. What happens? They just keep lining them up. Yeah, but I mean, coming back. Okay, but you're giving credit to Pacquiao for coming back. Are you going to be happy if all of a sudden Earl fights Pacquiao? No. No, it's a fight's a fight. What? You really want Earl to fight Pacquiao and not one of you younger welterweights in your prime? It's better than not fighting, but what should happen is the next person in line, the ranking system should be going properly moving efficiently so it's like a factory belt next person up line them up knock them down right now it's not like that it doesn't matter if you're number two if if it don't make money then it don't make sense yeah so that's 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 a false reality right there we're walking around in a lot of smoke and mirrors in the boxing game where you got world champions you got people who are making lots of money up and comers who have all this shine and buzz but they get knocked off super easy and they get opportunities while other people are working their ass off day in, day out, and don't get an opportunity. So it's just, there's so much bullshit. And boxing just due for a breath of fresh air. I think everybody in the community thinks that. Does it ever get frustrating to the part where you get lazy? Put it this way, my dad passed away in the summertime. I got told to come right back here to get ready for a fight. I've been five months training my own money, going in the hole, spending $20,000 in training camp, and I don't even know when I'm fighting. I build a whole entire house, put my blood, sweat, tears, and then they say, oh, you know what? Change your plans. Doesn't matter you built that whole house. Not get paid for it, we're gonna move down the street. I want you to build another one in two months. That's, that's the sport of boxing right now. So does it make me lazy? I would say it makes me more fed up with the people who care more about money than people's careers mm. than what they do. A lot of promoters don't realize that a fighter, it's not just him, it's his whole family that's on standstill. It's not just me, it's my coach. My coach can't go and do certain things. He can't have holidays with his family and stuff like that because he's sacrificing too. And it's just like a carrot being dangled in front Family, of don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.